MySQL replication is the native way of bringing high availability to a MySQL database infrastructure. It's simple for the DBA to set up, but building the stack and maintaining the environment can be a challenge. It's not just about setting up replication between a master and some slave servers. It's also about how to restore broken topologies, how applications can keep track of writable master and the read-only slaves, what to do when the servers are corrupted, how to perform backups and version upgrades, and more. This video will talk about nine tips you can use to ensure you build a stable MySQL replication environment. Before you start with your MySQL replication setup, it's important to run a few sanity checks. First off, make sure you are using InnoDB and not MyISIM. Secondly, ensure that the primary keys are defined on every table. And lastly, take a minute to understand your read and write patterns. The next step in building a stable replication environment is to configure your operating system. Ensure that you have swap enabled, and make sure you are using NUMA Interleave and an ext4 or XFS file system. Next, you will need to determine which form of replication you will be deploying. You can either use row-based replication or a mixed format. You also have the choice of the traditional non-GTID or with GTID, which we recommend for version 5.6 and 5.7 if you can use it. Once you determine the type of replication to use, you will then need to determine which type of backup you'll use. With logical backup, the data is stored in plain text, while physical backup has the data stored in binary. If you're running a large database, make sure to do both full and incremental backups as well. You will be provisioning slaves often for various reasons, and it's important to build, test, and maintain a provisioning system. Monitoring replication is essential to maintaining the performance of your environment. To maintain peak performance, it's a good idea to use a caching layer. Properly added, it may reduce the database load by more than 99%. Another way to improve performance is by adding a proxy layer, which can detect and handle failed nodes or topology changes. The next step is to implement rolling schema upgrades, slaves first, then the master. Make sure though that the schema change you are using is compatible so your replication will work properly. You can also use online schema change tools like Ghost to execute the schema change on all nodes at once. Make sure to use dedicated slaves to handle the reporting load as OLAP can cause heavy CPU and input output usage. Lastly, make sure to have a disaster recovery plan ready. There are many ways to minimize the impact and you will have to choose what will work best for your environment. Make sure to regularly test your backups and store copies outside of your data center. If possible, it's also good to have a standby environment ready at a separate location. Remember too, the cluster control provides advanced deployment, managing, monitoring, and scaling functionality to get your MySQL replication instances up and running using proven methodologies that you can depend on to work. Cluster Control is an all-inclusive database management system that removes the need for your team to have to cobble together multiple tools, saving you time and money. And with the advanced automated failover and backup technology in Cluster Control, your mission-critical applications can achieve high availability with zero downtime. To learn more about what Cluster Control does for MySQL replication, visit severalnines.com forward slash mysql replication. And to get more detailed tips on building a stable environment, watch the webinar replay at severalnines.com forward slash replication dash webinar. Why not try Cluster Control for yourself? You can download it free at severalnines.com.